Hello there! My name is Kestrel Plays, and the new snapshot is out, and with it, a ton of new blocks that are quite interesting. So let's take a look at the blocks added in snapshot 20w15a. This snapshot comes with a variety of new blocks, all of which you can see in front of me. Now the main thing added in the snapshot is something called Blackstone, which all of these blocks are variants of. Gilded Blackstone, Raw Blackstone, Polished Blackstone, Blackstone Stairs and Walls and Slabs, Polished Blackstone <laughs> Pressure Plates, uh, Blackstone Bricks, and Chisel Blackstone. Really quite cool. Along with that, a Piglin Banner Pattern has been added, which creates something like this. I have a few theories on the addition of Blackstone and this banner. Also, we have something called Quartz Bricks now, which look quite nice. And new variants of Nether Brick. We have a Wither Skeleton Chisel version and a Cracked version. I really hope this gets added into some sort of overhaul of the Nether Fortress. Before we get into the theories and uses for the new blocks we see in this snapshot, First, let's take a look at the other changes and additions. First of all, a brand new biome, which is frankly quite terrifying. It's known as the Basalt Delta. And in it, well, there's a ton of basalt, and this is also where you find a blackstone. I really like this biome. It's quite, quite interesting. Oh, are these particles making it a little laggy? <laughs> It's also the home of magma cubes, which quite possibly makes this the only biome where you could actually die to a magma cube because there's so many of them. However, I'm sure it's possible to make some sort of farm for magma cream now, so that's nice. Anyway, let's move on. I'm not quite sure when this got changed or added, but now Shriders turn purple when they're not in lava, which is quite interesting. Also, the one that I was writing earlier er, in the last video, they fly now. <laughs> they fly now. I am not entirely sure what has caused this. I just came back out of the nether and suddenly my strider is 15 feet in the air. Ignoring the fact that striders have suddenly grown wings and are probably planning world domination, there have been a few changes to dispensers. They can now put horse armor on horses, and I believe, yep, they can saddle it. They can also put carpet on llamas, shear so snow golems, which if you didn't know, you can take the pumpkin off by using shears. And they got, can also shear a mo mushroom, which just turns it into a cow. I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but I guess you do you. There have also been some changes to walls. They now connect to panes, looking pretty cool and iron bars. But most importantly, they now connect to pickles. I don't know about you, but I've always wanted to connect walls to pickles. It's like the bane of my life if I can't connect walls to pickles. It's just, I don't have any idea why this wasn't added before. Along with the all important pickles to connecting to walls change, Mojang has been trying to make the hoe a little more powerful. You know, let, letting it do more than just this. Apparently, they're now the most powerful tool against leaves, which I love because I don't need 60 stacks of oak leaves, but I'd still want to instamine them. So I guess I'm going to have to carry a hoe around with me at all times. Oh well. Alright, so that's most of the changes in this snapshot. However, let's take a look at the theories I have. First of all, I think these hint at a complete overhaul of the nether fortress because currently the only two blocks in it are nether brick and nether brick fences. They're really boring to explore and they're very 2012-ish. However, blackstone, this kind of shows that there might be a completely new structure. People have been wanting a piglin fortress or bastion. These look pretty fortressy. And along with this, it 
shows us that this is probably going to be the symbol of the piglins. Now, I like this a lot because these are cool blocks, and finding a giant fortress would add a whole lot more interesting stuff to the nether. Alright, let's take a look at the uses. So, many of the blocks in this snapshot probably look like stuff for big, brutish, ancient fortresses. Well, like most blocks in the game, they can be used for all sorts of things. First of all, this roof. It's made entirely of blackstone. I think it looks quite nice, it adds a lot of detail to the roof. This couch, polished blackstone. I think it looks quite comfy. We have our little dark oak flower pots. This is normal for a modern style. Even this can be used. This looks like a power outlet to me. I don't know why, it just looks like something you would plug into. So I've stuck it next to the couch. Now, the walls here are made out of the quartz bricks, which th these look pretty modern. They're not much of a stretch to fit in here. Now, this, this fire pit place, this looks amazing to me. It, it's nice and modern because not every fireplace is made out of brick. Some was made out of this like fake black stone. Well, using black stone, we can recreate that. Also, the stairs are just black stone stairs. Just decided to do, do that. Behind here, we have the gilded black stone. Now, I mainly just stuck this here to show it off. It's a cool looking block, it's just hard to fit into designs. And then there's another polish chiseled black stone there. That is going to do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed, if so, leave a like. Make sure to subscribe to see more. Also, comment your opinions on the snapshot, and more importantly, the possibility of an impending Strider apocalypse. Anyway, my name is Casual Plays. I'll see you in the next one.